doesn't say what type of damage this is, but let's try Ping of Death. It wasn't it ether? Magic Missile? What is this bullshit again? Maybe healing. We just heal them. <laughs> oh my god, what is this again? Let's try inflict wounds. That was one enemy that did get damaged by that. No. What about negative energy? Doesn't even hit them. I hate when games do that. Maybe holy? <laughs> oh, where's Amiri? <laughs> oh, definitely not. Why? Why do this game? This is not fun. Trying to figure out which spell to cast and when to kill it. Well, what do I do if I don't have the right spell? Just give up? Not cool. I guess we can try stinking cloud. Might sh should I probably have to Google it. But might actually kill it. Doom, 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 doom. Oh my god, nothing. Not what we need. Maybe with the briar. Oh my god. Why? Why is this the, why is this, this is the thing? Why, why do they need to do this? What can we do? Vine trap? Doesn't seem right. Innervation. Redu reducing its levels. I don't have enough spells for that. I can poison. Fortitude save. Really? Wait. No, again, it didn't die. For a moment, I thought it died. Oh, me minus three. Now the thing has level twenty levels. Almost. spells. Maybe we didn't use the right fire spell. Oh my god, you son of a bitch. I hate your game. Step, step, step. That is just so incredibly rude from you. It's throwing us into a loop, huh? Welp. But we didn't try us here the other side. The wizard in the mirror keeps clinging to the glass and whispering softly, not noticing you. Oh boy. Let's go here first. Oh, this is the main room. I remember that. Let's not go there yet. Ashes and dust. That's what this dwarf is. It 
would be amusing to find out how strong his faith is. Do you hear me, my loyal servant? What? What is this? Do I hear your voice? Oh, Grotus, do you speak to your servant in this lifeless You're really place? that stupid? It is true. Your time has come, Harim. Do How do you fall for that? This miserable world. Let go. Release your life. The boneyard awaits you. I am waiting. Oh, I've waited for this moment for long. How comforting it will be to close my eyes and know there is no need to open them. Seriously. Again. Oh my god. You believed in your death so much that you really died, dwarf. Few can boast such powerful beliefs. Oh my god, this guy is so dumb. Wait, what? Uh, Harry meets you? Stroking his beard, pants off the nuts, calmly as ever. Like there's nothing amiss. Harem? I saw Nurissa trying to trick you into dying by pretending to be the voice of Grotus. Oh, it's true. <laughs> I am sad to see that I almost gave in, taking her false words for the voice of Grotus. I almost felt the cold breath of the boneyard. But memories return to me of the feats we accomplished together. I remembered the lesson you helped me learn. Well, I guess I have to apologize because I thought you definitely were that stupid. Good, good, good job. Would Grotus reveal to me the true essence of the circle of making and unmaking, only to drive me from the world? I realized I had given in to a lie meant to take me from my path and prevent me from helping you confront our old enemy. Then I shook off the deadly torpor and awoke. How does he survive and not Octavia? The world is unfair. We have to go. Are you ready to move? As never before. Awesome. Uh, I, I, I don't, I don't want you. you just disappear. Hmm. Hmm. Who's here? Should we lost? That's not the way I wanted to get to the first world. You've dreamed of this for a long time, haven't you? To dive into a vortex of wonder and discovery while your foes tramp the dirty roads of Golarion. The return here, where it all began, the prototype, the precursor of all that is known to mortals. And it lies open before you. But you will need a mighty protector to explore the first world. Accept my help and my blessing. You do understand that your so-called offer, in fact, leaves me no choice. I am completely alone in the dominion of a mighty and unpredictable creature. A refusal might cost me my life. So don't refuse. <laughs> and yet, I'm saying no. To put it bluntly, you are asking me to betray a friend who I deeply respect. Some friend would I be if I gave in to blackmail. I would have. Oh, my map protection costs not much, but refusing it costs a hundredfold more. I did not expect this guy to stick with us. Wait, he's alive? I didn't Jibbles expect you to get here so soon. Just a moment, I'm almost finished. Oh, he's writing this notebook, huh? Jubilus, are you alive? I, was, I saw Nerissa trying to kill you. Far from trying, she did kill me. Not that I was unprepared for such an outcome, but it's still an unpleasant and rather painful business. I'm not sure yet if I'm even going to include it in my publications. A painful death is not <laughs> the sort of experience you want to read about over and over on a rainy evening by the fire. What do you mean? That sounds interesting. How did you survive? But guess who helped me? Say, our insane ghost friend from the dungeons under the Candlemere. Though she's not a ghost anymore and significantly less insane, but who knows. According to her, she never died in a dungeon, but safely opened a portal to the first world and even regained her immortality. 
Oh, nice. Sheikah, the eldest of time, informed her that for this she has to thank a king from Galarian and some young, young, just think of it, gnome named Jubilost. Sheikah told Say that she'd be able to save us in the house at the edge of time many thousands of years later. And she did. She waited, she came, and she saved. Oh, that's so awesome. <laughs> nice. We have to go of then. Of course. I just can't wait to pay a visit to Lady Nyrissa. I should like to help her become history, both literally and figuratively. Oh, tell her, man. Tell her. Nice. I I thought I was so sure you would actually die. Step, I wasn't step, sure I did step. all his decisions right. I'm still mad about Octavia. And what have we here? Knock. Knock, knock. Is that the sound of your knees shaking in fear? <laughs> I took you for a hero. For only a hero would be brave enough to come here. Or are you something else? A shabby, tattered bit of comedy, perhaps? I am hero. Great hero. Are you? Am I the only one who sees that? I don't think your master sees anything of the sort. Are you not put aside? Laughed at? Ridiculed? Treated as your tribe treated you? No! He is a hero, and so I am! I am I! Me! Hero! And, and I will stop you! No, oh, you contemptuous little thing. You cannot stop me. But if you truly are a hero, come to challenge me. Then you may join the others who came before. In death. No, my jester. He was my jester. Oh, he's he's alive. Shockingly. There you knock, are. Knock. Taking oh. your time. Knock knock. He is perked up as he approach. He looks dirty in his clues are in great disarray than normal. His eyes are also strange, clear blue like marbles. Why? What happened to you? That foul smelling plant woman with ears tried to kill me but knock knock bravely cowered on floor and held breath old trick from way back in tribe makes them think knock knock already dead before they kick and hit more except this time trick worked <laughs> good job good foul job smelling plant woman with ears no keep kicking or hitting me and her spell Dodge most of it. Made eyes all funny though. Starting see normal again. Almost good as new. Huh. Can you imagine getting tricked by some guy?